or they respect the range of Smith. They extend the defense. Chilkut to Elijahwan. 13 seconds on the shot clock, and Akeem, who has the heart of a champion, you know he'd respond tonight. Here's a matchup they like. Elijahwan trying to get Donaldson up, takes it to the hole. Oh, my. If I was sitting on that bench, could roll because they're going to see enough of it with Stockton coming off, and he'll take what the defense gives him out of that pick and roll. Here's Elijah Wan. He's never made two moves the same in a game, I don't think. Just come open. Kenny Smith using the screen by Chilkut. Here's Drexler at a 30-point game in game two. Elijah Wan fall away. He is four of five, and as you expected, he's going to carry this team on his shoulders. Game in and game out. Ijuan trying to shake loose inside from Antoine Carr. 2.19 to go in the first quarter. Ijuan, little jump hook. Kenny Smith to Ori. They dump it in to their meal ticket. And he takes over from there. They're going to just ride it. Here's Drexler. Hornacek extending the defense on him. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Akeem, the double team coming, doesn't bother him. He's focused. He having his own way, getting any shot he wants. Game he's got tonight. Well, he's got a good game tonight. Elijah on now, facing the basket. Look at that move. Was that pretty? That was beautiful. He split both people. It wasn't he just beat one guy, he beat two. He'll work hard defensively. Michelle trying to take Crotty inside. Looking for the high pick from Elijah on to Akeem. It's quite the same emotion as Carr's defensive village causing problems. I think it's wearing a team down, but a team got it anyway. About the time you think you've got this guy stopped, he makes you pay. They're going to a double team, and they're going to make somebody else beat him. 424 to go in the third. A team backing in, and a little pirouette move. Part of the season. Here's Ori, dumps it into Hakeem. Hakeem has averaged almost 37 points a game in the series this year. And he ordered. Drexler backing in, here's Akeem, back to his former Houston Cougar teammate, and Elijah Wan gets it back, and well, he went from about a 39% shooter last year to a 49% shooter this year. And Elijah Wan with a face-up jump, has effect if he lets it affect him too much. Well, he's 0 for 4 from the field, Elijah Wan trying to put it back, he got it, and the foul on Ben Wan. His range, he can go out and shoot it. Akeem. Chambers bodies him, the basket will count. Every time Stockton makes the move in either, either direction, he changes his foot position. Biggest lead of the ball game, and out to the jab. A minute 41 left in this first half. And a lot of guys taking the ball to the basket. Oh, what a nice move. 12 from the field. The Rockets by one. A team well, outside. Tough. I tell you, he's got so much traffic inside, he just left earlier with his fourth. Into Elijah Watt. Ori back to Hakeem. Look at that move. Beautiful. An under move. Beautiful. So has a lot of John Stockton strength. Into Elijah Wan, the double team coming. Oh, that's a tough shot. That is a tough shot. Elijah Wan, they wanted to travel there. Instead, Hakeem now has. And it's so tough when they're doing it on defense and they're taking good, unselfish shots every time they touch the ball. 75 73, a 13 0 run now. Into Elijah Wan. Elijah Wan trying to end that run and does. Maxwell into Hakeem. They triple team him. Hakeem doesn't let it really bother him. Just gets it to go in. Still, and it's growing here because they continue to give him basketball. Okay, 11 points and five rebounds. That tipped up and in by Chambers. 23 in the second. Into Elijah Wan. How, how many white shirts get around Elijah Wan that time? No one came on the. If they don't, they're inviting the Phoenix Suns to rebound the ball and run it down their throat. Elijah Wan against the double team still hit. Playing extremely well. Meanwhile, Joe Klein continues his output. He has doubled his score and output from the regular. And that's of course the success that you've got to have. Right now, Houston in perfect position. They still have to get one at Phoenix. The board much better in this game than they did in the first two. The outside shot's not dropping for Phoenix. Unhappy, they had to move him or live with a, a player that probably couldn't be moved. Ori, Olajuwon, lost it, taken away by Drexler. Second only among guards to John Stockton. Elijah Wan, the teammates are saying, we'll just make a shot and we'll come back to you. Elijah Wan, again. 
He's got uh, AC Green on him. He's got to go to work. <laughs> they figured that Keith deserves to win the game. Akeem Sims on flying. It's going in, so they're able to stay on him pretty tough, and we'll see if Barkley's confidence slides and he stops shooting. Here on NBC. The Knicks have played well enough to be up 3-0. And here they find themselves in a very tenuous situation. Full lineup, their desperation lineup. They bring Marley and Ainge in. You'll see nothing but threes on this point. Olajuwon again! Olajuwon again. Trying to defend better and score the ball. Kenny Smith down to Olajuwon. Working on climb, baseline jumper two. Now, Robert Ory, uh, there. Juwan back outside to Drexler. Eight on the shot clock. Clyde with another drive back over to Akeem. Baseline, good movement by the two. Just don't have a big enough body to put on Barkley. And maybe in this series, they miss Otis Thorpe more than any other time. And there is Elijah Juwan working hard. To give Ory a lot of credit, he kept the sore left hamstring. But he has not been affected shooting-wise in this ballgame. Elijah Wan bounces off of Tisdale. That's what always amazes me. He's hustling. And it goes to Elijah Wan. Against Shays. And Hakeem looks much better this half. Yes. But that really started before he came into the ballgame. KJ has been running so freely on offense. It's tough to come off the bench and stop him. What a year he has had. Talking about the guards, the point guards. As Hakeem with uh, one of those through and out of that you can see right over him and the extra pass yeah. leads to the open shot and Paul Westfall said one of the things that people don't talk about on their team is how much you see green every possession yeah. been. well that's just the kind of focus that he has here's a live one of just a magnificent move you never you asking me that question you just that rhetorical that is rhetorical all right Drexler dumps it into Akeem Olajuwon he's the leading scorer in the playoffs over 32 points a game look at that move you knew that this guy will respond tonight. The lead, or he dumps it into Elijah Juan. Klein has done a reasonably good job on Akeem. Akeem gets the roll. When I say reasonable, you know you're not going to shut down Elijah Juan. Kenny Smith, who had 17 threes in the first round against Utah. Tying a five-game series playoff record. Akeem to the hole. Still playing at that same high level. Joe Klein committed the foul, his first. Here's Elijah on the double team coming. <laughs> And that spin move, not rebound by Ori. How about this? There's that run out. We talked about it. The high Elijah post center. Got the foul too. The high. From the Sun King, start of the year. Here's Kenny Smith out to Drexler. Elijah Wan, face up jumper. We're tied at 74. Approaching four minutes to go on the third of game six. The Suns up three games to two. And the Suns don't want to go to a game seven. Henderson for the field. He had one game. He was six of seven shooting outside. Elijah Wan back again. And Klein just has a grin and bear it. Nothing to do. Sir dumps it into Elijah Wan. Elijah Wan with 21 points in the game. Out to Mario Elliott check in. Back to Hakeem. Hakeem with a face up jumper. Good ball movement that time. Seven. Houston, 9 7 to go in the game. Elijah Wan in low on A.C. Green. He got the basket. Green could do nothing. They got it so deep. Now they got him figured out. I mean, they got him figured out. On Great pride. Right to the post. And here it comes into Akeem. Akeem against A.C. Green. Elijah Wan with 28. Suns still have some time. 6.43 left to try to cut into this 10-point lead. Elijah Watt, baseline favorites. There's offense, so he's got to see some guys score some points. And unless they're just going to miss and think about extra possession, Rodman's fine right where he is. Elijah Watt has four. There's that one-dimensional player you're talking about, Steve. <laughs> Elijah Watt, fall away. Got the bucket and the foul. And rolling against the shot clock. Elijah Watt hits the jumper. That is flawless execution bench has been vastly superior as you would expect after the first two games. Lajuan again with the long range jumper. Funny it so he can't just drive to the hoop and force the defense to collapse. Lajuan across oh. the lane hits again. Akeem Lajuan gives the Rockets a 38-27 lead. He has 15. Line. Akeem in the post. Lajuan the jump hook. He and Terry Cummings have been waging war down low. Sal wanted an illegal on Rodman. Elijah Wan again overcoming. 
DC. Drexler has to get off early. Olajuwon does. Smith having a quiet night so far. Saddled with foul trouble. Olajuwon jump hook. Got the bounce. Hakeem has 26. Olajuwon with the jump hook. He's not played with fouls. He's fresher. Olajuwon quiets the crowd. <laughs> this crowd's not going to stay quiet. <laughs> Still right back up into the play. Olajuwon, open jump. And the Spurs will bring it back in a hurry. In Houston. Olajuwon steps his way past Robinson. That way to see if they can't get control of this ball game. Olajuwon bounds for the big guy. He does that to the baseline. And gets the ball. Houston leads 37, 36. Akeem with 14 tonight. Houston still has possession, now trailed by one. Robert Corey. And the whistle blows David Robinson guilty of the foul. We remind you, coming up at halftime, the Prudential Halftime Report. Bob Costas back in New York. We'll be talking with Ann. Robinson's got to be a little softer, a little bit more careful. Initiates the contact. Beautiful. Foul was on Sean Elliott, his first of the day. Olajuwon fakes the drive. Puts up the drive. Corey will back it out. Go down low to Olajuwon. Look at the move. Disagree totally. On the first one, well, this is going to be a Lajuan with the up and under, the Kevin McHale move, the step right by, the flying Robinson. Clock at five. Corey for three. And Charles Jones with the rebound. <laughs> he does not want to shoot at all. around, and Olajuwon inside. Radman gives him. The lob to Olajuwon, the fake, he got the bucket. Facing the basket, and Elijah has got to get back inside. Rockets just look confused. Elijah Wan working for his shot. Throw down, and Elijah Wan showing he can dance outside as well. Ah, it's a fadeaway. 9.32 to play in the game. So the feed low, and Elijah Wan off the wall. We have four because Ronnie Nunn was being screamed at by Robert Ory. Olajuwon, heavy pressure still, rattles it in. Can't guard him a whole lot tighter than that. For the other team. Turn by Akeem, first point, second quarter, eight for the game. That's four, even Olajuwon. That's ten for Akeem. 
That play from out of bounds, well called by Coach Rudy Tom Donovan. By now, they never will. Houston will never go away. Utah learned it the hard way. Phoenix has the last two years. A line drive off the glass. Akeem with 12, lead back to eight. I thought Elijah one played a little loose, a little nervous in that first game in Phoenix in the first half. But he came back strong in the fourth quarter. Goes to try and capture. Apparently still has it recovered. Akeem off the spin. As the Spurs jump, the rotation a little slow from Sean Elliott, but better than that was Elijah Wan's. Fans ready to explode, and instead, it's Elijah Wan there to quiet him down again. Great ball movement by the Rockets in the face of the crowd and the energy the Spurs are trying to throw at him. Elijah Wan gets any shot he wants, though. That's 14 in the period. In Phoenix the other night very well because he was in foul trouble and sat quite a bit in the third quarter. But that wasn't because Tom Jonathan decided to do it. That was because he was in foul trouble. Oh, yeah, he was exhausted. Now this is just this is just the third quarter. Oh, man. Every chance. Still mystified that he couldn't hit. Oh, man. The only shot he hadn't tried yet. A Olajuwon dives as soon as Robinson flashed out on Drexler. Drexler over Robinson. Rebound battle. Won by Akeem. Rivers knocked down and no call. And screen for Lambert is not going to be there. We go under two minutes. Turning on Reed, Olajuwon, and the foul prior to that pass in is Doc. As uh, Drexler takes the shot over Robinson. That's the one they wanted right there. But Elijah won over the top of Doc Rivers. One more score may be all they need. Under him and backing out of key. Pulls up from 15, and that could be it. For Elijah who went to the crossover, and he's being guarded now by Grant. Elijah Wan, yes. Akeem has added that shot to his arsenal. He'll get killed, but he got a break there as Shaq was a little bit over anxious. Elijah Wan with a good move, working his way to the area. The touch pass by Hardaway, and the Rockets are very slow in their rotation. Elijah Wan drawing Pacers. He is in there replacing Shaquille O'Neal. Elijah Wan draws the foul, yes, and it counts. Team from time to time, and especially when Shaq would get into foul trouble, but they don't want him to be the primary defender. Horace Grant to try to get around in front. And again, Elijah Wong, keeping the Rockets on turn to that baseline. He's just ignoring the defense. They brought Charles Jones in to guard O'Neal, and the, uh, Akeem watched Horace Grant trying to give him a little breather. You want taking advantage of the much shorter Hor Horace Grant. They want Horace to try to front. Rexler posting up. Elijah Wan for the crossover and from out deep. Whoa, <laughs> that's unbelievable. <laughs> that man is seven feet tall, and he looks dwarfed. Slamming in one motion and was very fortunate to keep it alive. Elijah Wan, yes, by one. Kenny Smith, just not a good enough post-up defensive player. It counts, and the foul. Elijah Wan, yes, and a team on fire. Now five of eight. He has 12 points. Rockets 20. Did not believe that the guy had such great offensive position. And there he goes. Wan, off the alley oop from Ori in the half court has the ability to get into the lane and create plays for himself or other people. Elijah Wan, and Akeem has taken over 62% from the field and only six offensive rebounds. Jack doesn't necessarily have to score on the post up. He's got to get to the offensive glass. Elijah Wan with 20 points with the next three games coming up in Houston. Elijah Wan after the pop. So Akeem with his 10th puck, but at this point, it has not mattered. Elijah Wan showing us the footwork. Oh, he didn't realize how wide open he was on that little plant of the believe what is happening. Elijah Wan to the fadeaway. 
28 for a kick. Can stay, get hope out on the three-point shooter much quicker. Elijah Wan, out of one, goes down. This time not able to do it. Elijah Wan kept it alive. And the outside official, Dan Crawford, blowing the whistle. Shot clock at five. Drexler with the spin. Elijah Wan, good. 